What's up guys, how you doing? It's your boy Colin Osborne and welcome to Technology at Work. In this video, we're gonna be specifically talking about the Go High Level Workflow Builder. And specifically what this is gonna be able to do is, is essentially combine the campaigns section as well as other certain specific workflow automations that you can use for your business in order to simplify, make things more efficient, and even generate you more money on demand depending on what type of business you have. Um, if that involves specific messages campaigns that would then trigger a specific um, task to be created after that, then an opportunity would then be created in your specific business pipeline. All those things could be customized extremely easy using the Go High Level Workflow. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you a couple of the different workflow automations I use within my company to manage my specific business. And from there, your ideas can essentially wander into you know, what you can use for your specific business. So what we're gonna be doing is, is we're gonna hop into the computer and we'll get started. What's up guys? Once again, Technology at Work with Colin Osborne and thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to really uh, get started. So the timeline of this video, it's just going to be, uh, we're going to be first talking about the introduction to Go High Level Workflow Builder. I'm going to show you just some of the different concepts that you can do. There's also, um, you know, specifically how to create a workflow. Then after that, show you about, uh, you know, certain different workflow uh, commands that you can add in like tasks and actions. And then being able to then also set up conditions, like conditional logic and triggers as well within that specific workflow. And then just a little bit of tips to effectively um, manipulate the workflow workflow builder. So um, if you haven't signed up for Guy High Level yet, um, you can get two weeks free at, by uh, going to the resource page, colinosman.com. And then if you click on high level here, it will take you to um, the high level page. Now, the nice part about this is it, this essentially connects my journey, excuse me, your journey, um, to become a, uh, business owner and operating high level because you signed up under, under, um, my account and I'll be able to provide, uh, services at a discount to be, um, because of that factor. And I really honestly, truly believe that anyone who's starting a business in this day and age, 100% needs to, um, uh, have this system because it's perfect for the small business owner. And just for $97, you can get your own, this access to basically all of this stuff, um, for, for that price. It's a no brainer. Um, and that's after the, the two week trial. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into, um, the high level account. If you, uh, just simply go on to, once you signed up for everything, you're going to end up on this dashboard and you're going to want to go to the automation section. Now, uh, essentially how high level used to be is it used to just be campaigns and triggers and you essentially would have to set up the majority of your workflows within the trigger. Now you can essentially set up all your campaigns and triggers within the workflows. They still provide you with the capability to manipulate certain campaigns um, that way, but in reality you get more... Um, you have more depth of, of utilization of a system with the workflow. So depending on what type of uh, your, of, excuse me, depending what type of business you have will depend on what automations your business, like the, the software has specifically, excuse me, workflow has for your business. If you're a plumber, well, uh, depending on, how you operate your business. You may have a calendar booking system that um, when someone books a free consultation, that's when you know there would be a, a specific setup so that the automation would then remind the person to show up, to, that you are gonna show up to their house at that specific time with a series of texts. Now, in this example, I'm gonna be showing you how I've set up my specific workflow automation for my company. So if I have any clients that specifically schedule um, a, a uh, virtual call with me, then I would book them through the introductory or consultation booking calendar that I've set up. So you have Calendly um, and you have Zapier. 
now kind of merging all together into one uh, and and more things obviously (laughs) but essentially when someone books an appointment the appointment status is going to specifically when they book in in the consultation um specific uh, calendar what would then happen is so if this happens then and a user myself would be assigned to the specific account and then you're going to have an internal notification specifically from name from email to user assigned and this information specifically right here uh necessary and like what this is is when this internal notification trigger is a so when someone schedules an appointment the the system will send me a notification with the auto-filled contact information of that person um to my phone a lot of times people don't really know when where things are at and it's very difficult to um you know as a small business owner to manage all those things if, if the system isn't telling you so having these things um, orchestrated so they're providing you exactly the information you need in order to show up to your uh, business appointment this is going to be a more efficient way and then also staying organized the crm is supposed to work for you it's supposed to help you you know a lot of times you know back in the day this this entire system would be done paying a secretary now all this stuff all the text messages and everything reminding people that's all done You've now just cut out a percentage of your costs um, when it comes to having a secretary by just probably having more of a virtual assistant that specifically works in the CRM management who can do workflows for you. Or you can obviously learn how to do it yourself. Um, so that is definitely something that it, that it, that with this specific workflow, it's extremely powerful being able to not have to worry about oh let me grab my calendar out you can send someone to the calendar link uh they can find a time specifically the way you want it and all these automations will fire next we're going to do is we're going to take a look at another um automation let's look at the discovery form notification because i feel like this is very important so i have uh created and really, I learned this from the great Greg Morrison. Uh, he was an SEO genius. And I forget who the other guys are. They're very interesting SEO uh, gurus, as I would call it. Um, but they, uh, they, the one thing that I really picked up from them was a discovery form and how informative it was for when you are in a company like marketing or consulting or, um, you know, maybe... It's a a legal uh, form or some sort where you're going to need to ask specific questions and know who your customer avatar is. That's what a discovery form is for, because you can send someone to it and be like, fill out all this information and I'll get back to you. So just to get you an idea what this uh, and I'll I'll show you kind of what the server, the 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 trigger right here specifically is pointing to the discovery form. So if someone submits the discovery form on the website then all of these things are going to happen. A user is going to be assigned to the, uh, to me. And then I'm going to have an email fired out to the person, letting them know about, and I have a, um, I have templates built for these, which kind of like, you know, Calendly, like, I mean, not Calendly, a MailChimp, all of that is now integrated in the system. That's just awesome when it comes to that. Um, but also the subject, thank you for discovering your form submission with the autofill contact first name. That's beautiful. I mean, like I, the amount of time and money that saved me knowing that I don't have to, oh, let me go back and read through this information that I have to log into um, gravity forms and then pay all this money just to like, you know, receive a form. I mean, Jesus, like, it's like, I, I'm, I am the person person who wants the most powerful products at the I wouldn't say cheapest cost but something that's affordable relative to what my business expenses or like you know my operating costs save that Um, I've also uh, added in a create or update opportunity this is for adding specific leads into the pipeline so now I know where my clients are at if someone bought something or discovered a form or specifically here since they discovered a form, they in the process, like you look at this pipeline here, we have the entrepreneur CEO pipeline. 
you have the interested start the business done for you and get review pipeline section so out of those three the one excuse me four the one that would not be a paying product paying person would be the interested be and that's because they just fill out a form and they're just gathering some information about what the course is um, and we can add more information to this as we go just to kind of give you an idea of the things you can do you can connect your instagram and facebook account to it you can have a voicemail set up specifically so that it calls them and drops it onto their email and you could set it up so that you've created a beautiful reputation management system i have a client of mine that um, uses a, I forget what the name of the, the company is, but essentially every time they buy something, it's, it sets them in the CRM so that that sends them handwritten cards. It's crazy. I mean, like, like someone will literally write a thousand cards for her business and sends them out to like her specific clientele. So, and, and, and say there's something on here that you guys don't want, you just go to the, um, you know, if you need to, if you need to use Zapier or um, Integromat webhook, easy, easy day. So that's the beautiful part about um, the, the workflow builders. They have a lot of different mechanisms that you can use in order to make your life easier. Um, external communication, specifically Facebook Messenger, voicemail. You can actually do an auto call. I don't really necessarily know how that works. I mean, I think it would really have to be a very robust sales process um, where someone's, you know, like, and because you can have a way where essentially when a when this film is when this form is filled, then this will essentially automatically call the business owner, which is tight as soon as they fill out the form. And then if you have, you know, a sales team like standing by on the cloud blaze platform of high level you could they will automatically be connected to the call and then it's just like anytime this, someone discovers a form you have virtual assistant like hey how you doing welcome to you know brand new digital marketing services i see you fill out a form read the information your life is like now more automated instead of you know having to read it and you know go from there so um that's uh essentially the uh, the explanation for this specific um, uh, workflow here. Next, um, we're going to move to let's do a payment notification. So if you have Stripe, you can integrate that with the with this Go High Level CRM and you can have payment notifications. So say you set up a payment um funnel and you integrated your stripe product so that essentially you can now like say you have a virtual product or you have a consultation or you have some type of digital product that you wanted to or really any type of product i mean you just have to physically but the exchange and services online through is going to be done all through that funnel and they have an order submit form but anyways i wanted to go to the payment notification section uh, so you can essentially place different, whether it's a funnel, say they, they, an order form submission can, that's what I have right here listed. Um, but I can add specific, a filter in to add in, in a funnel on a website and then specifically what funnel or what website, what website funnel page you want to select for that to fire when it gets, when someone buys through that specific payment page and you can customize it so that you can have multiple uh you know different payment pages and and like go high level go high level is a little janky depending on if you're trying to like i would say the offer page isn't extremely compelling uh but uh you can manipulate the um a funnel page better and then automate the same process through here and that's what i did because i wanted to have a little bit more hands-on customization with the the order page because in my opinion i just didn't think the offer page was like was that sexy but anyway so after they buy it welcome email and i've already created that once again mailchimp inside here done active campaign inside here done you can also assign you know user like i said before 
We can also create an or update an opportunity depending on what it was. So for this specific product, it's 9.97. That's a do it yourself uh, package. And I'm not going to necessarily release too much information on this yet, but it's a very powerful platform that essentially allows you to uh, kickstart your business from nothing to walking into any network meeting, walking into any type of business meeting, or really honestly, just organically being able to exist in a community and build your business without really having to think too much about actually building inside the business. We'll get into that later. Um, but I have an email and a push notification that goes to my phone, which allows me to know when someone has bought this particular package, as well as adds in a note saying someone purchased that particular done free program. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, like, you know, why do you need to add a note there? It's like, I mean, you're going to have to have an understanding of where your customers are at in the process. What are they buying from you? And how many products do you have? I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you're a small business owner, you would definitely want to minimize the amount of products you have. Uh, go to Steve Jobs route, minimize the amount of products and focus on advertising and being great at that one product. And then when people are like, man, you guys do this so great. And like, I know that people who just also do this. And you're like, well, actually, it's funny that you say that I actually have the expertise to provide you that service and voila you have now essentially just upselled your client that way and that's just a specific tip that you'll be able to use in your business and networking um, uh, journeys so anyways guys uh, this is just a quick tutorial on the go high level workflow automations I just wanted to really spend you know a little bit under 20 minutes my videos are a little bit long but um, I'm going to be going into more depth of a, uh, a, um, uh, I essentially am about to launch a high level, uh, workflow and masterclass really just in general of how to exactly harness the power of high level and small and a couple of other different apps, just so you can start marketing your business and, and start making sales immediately. Um, using social media without actually having to spend too much money doing it. So definitely looking forward to being able to launch that as well as to start the business course in January and um, a couple of our other programs as well, too. So if you have not already, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, just hit that smash, smash that like button, whatever it takes. Um, I'm really trying to continue to you know push out as much content and also make sure you guys go check out the blog as well too because there's a lot of informative content on here that i've created for you guys how to articles and how to batch create uh, how to batch creating content for social media how to use a go high level media scheduler which i'm actually about to launch a video on that as well too so i can show you how how to generate 30 uh, bunches of content um easily and then also get that scheduled out so that you don't have to worry for the next 30 days about all of that content that you're going to be creating. Um, but there are a lot of different uh, content. I mean, excuse me, a lot of different blogs that you can look at. And I'm honestly like, I'm, you know, just tr trying to provide the knowledge that allowed me to uh, travel around the world for the past couple of years and, you know, do it while, you know, uh, making the money I needed to make in order to be successful. And, you know, now I'm chilling in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, just enjoying my life, really. And uh, I want to be able to provide that education back to you guys. So I, I hope you guys have a, a great and wonderful day. And, um, you know, uh, stay tuned for the next video.